What's up, guys? I hope you're well. Chadio here. Today, we are checking out, holy crap, the animated history of Halloween. It's already almost Halloween. Honestly, where did this year go? This has been a very rapid, quick, quick, quick year. Crazy, huh? But uh, yeah, let's check out the animated history of Halloween. I've always been curious to know some of the history of it. Let's check it out, shall we? Halloween is a celebration observed in several countries on the 31st of October. It begins the three-day observance of All Hallowtide, the time in the liturgical year dedicated to remembering the dead, including the saints, hallows, martyrs, and all the faithful departed. Mm. Welcome to our animated history channel. This show presents Halloween history. The word Halloween, or Halloween, dates to about 1745 and is of Christian origin. The word Halloween means Saint's Evening. It comes from a Scottish term for All Hallows' Eve, the evening before All Hallows' Day. Halloween traditions may have originated from ancient Celtic harvest festivals, particularly the Gaelic festival Samhain. The Celtic festival of Samhain comes from the Old Irish for Summer's End. Samhain Makes was sense. the first and most important of the four quarter days in the medieval Gaelic calendar and was celebrated on the 31st of October to the 1st of November in Ireland. It marked the end of the harvest season and beginning of winter, or the darker half of the year. Throughout Ireland and Britain, the household festivities included rituals and games intended to foretell one's future, especially regarding death and marriage. Apples and nuts were often used in these divination rituals. From at least the 16th century, the festival included mumming and guising in Ireland, Scotland, the Isle of Man, and Wales. This involved people going house to house in costume or in disguise, usually reciting verses or songs in exchange for food. In parts of Southern Ireland, the geysers included a hobby horse, a man dressed as a lair bon, white mare, led youths house to house reciting verses, some of which had pagan overtones, in exchange yeah. for food. In Scotland, youths went house to house with masked, painted, or blackened faces, often threatening to do mischief if they were not welcomed. Okay. Today's Halloween customs are thought to have been influenced by Christian dogma and practices derived from it. Mm -hmm. Halloween is the evening before the Christian holy days of All Hallows Day on the 1st of November and All Souls Day on the 2nd of November, thus giving the holiday on October 31st the full name of All Hallows Eve. These three days are collectively called All Hallow Tide and are a time for honoring the saints and praying for the recently departed souls who have yet to reach heaven. Commemorations of all saints and martyrs were held by several churches on various dates, mostly in springtime. By the end of the 12th century, they had become holy days of obligation across Europe and involved mm. such traditions as ringing church bells for the souls in purgatory. It was not until mass Irish and Scottish immigration in the 19th century that Halloween became a major holiday in North America. Okay. Confined to the immigrant communities during the mid-19th century, it was gradually assimilated into mainstream society, and by the first decade of the 20th century, it was being celebrated coast to coast by people wow. of all social, racial, and religious backgrounds. <laughs> Jack-o'-lanterns are traditionally carried by geysers on All Hallows' Eve in order to frighten evil spirits. In Ireland and Scotland, the turnip has traditionally been carved during Halloween, but immigrants to North America used the native pumpkin, which is both much softer and much larger, making it easier to carve than a turnip. The American tradition of carving pumpkins is recorded in 1837 and was originally associated with harvest time in general, not becoming specifically associated with Halloween until the mid to late 19th century. Trick or treating is a customary celebration for children on Halloween. Children go in costume from house to house asking for treats such as candy or sometimes money with the question, trick or treat. Yep. The word trick implies a threat to perform mischief on the homeowners or their property if no <laughs> treat is given. In England, from the medieval period up until the 1930s, people practiced the Christian custom of souling on Halloween, which involved groups of soulers going from parish to parish, begging the rich for soul cakes in exchange for praying for the souls of the givers and their friends. In Scotland and Ireland, guising, children disguised in costume going from door to door for food or coins. Halloween costumes are traditionally modeled after supernatural figures such as vampires, monsters, ghosts, skeletons, witches, and devils. Dressing up in costumes and going guising was prevalent in Scotland and Ireland at Halloween by the late 19th century. There are several games traditionally associated with Halloween such as apple bobbing and face the cookie. Haunted attractions are entertainment venues designed to thrill and scare patrons. Most attractions are seasonal Halloween businesses that may include haunted houses, yep. corn mazes, and hayrides, 
and the level of sophistication of the effects has risen as the industry has grown. On All Hallows' Eve, many Western Christian denominations encourage abstinence from meat, giving rise to a variety of vegetarian foods associated with this day. One custom that persists in modern-day Ireland is the baking of barnbrack, which is a light fruitcake into which a plain ring, a coin, and other charms are placed before baking. Nice. It is considered fortunate to be the lucky one who finds it. The traditions and importance of Halloween vary greatly among countries that observe it. Halloween is a great festival holiday to center a party around and allows for many opportunities to do so. Thanks for watching, and please check out our other animations on history. I like that. That was interesting. I did learn some things. <clears throat> I didn't realize it was uh, Irish Scottish descended. I know it's relatively um, newer in the U.S. I knew that. But, uh,. Yeah, I was just watching this and it reminded me as a kid when I was in elementary school, what we call grammar school here, uh, we used to have Halloween parties, you know, we'd have like costume parades throughout the school and <clears throat> part of me and by third grade, I was all abolished from the school uh, because people who looked at Halloween and said it was, you know, devil worshipping. They didn't want it in their schools, so the schools got scared and didn't let kids wear their costumes anymore. That stinks. That was a lot of fun. Also, I remember as a kid, uh, the gym, uh, gymnasium at my elementary school was transformed into like a haunted house. And we, you know, we'd go trick-or-treating out the neighborhood. And then we'd end up there about 8 o'clock and go through there and kind of go through the haunted house that the... Uh, the staff and the teachers created. It's a lot of fun. I mean, kids these days don't have that anymore, and that sucks. But uh, with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe, and don't forget to wash your hands. Trick or treat.